Many times an APD is easily detectable even without the assistance of a magnifying lens. In this patient, a very obvious APD is present in the left eye. Note that when the light is swung to the left eye, there is immediate pupillary dilation. Therefore, we can conclude that this patient has damage to the afferent limb of the light reflex pathway in the left eye. There is reduced afferent input to the midbrain and therefore reduced efferent parasympathetic output to both pupils resulting in pupillary dilation when the left eye is illuminated. Once an APD is detected, it can be graded with the help of neutral density filters. Now let's describe in detail the swinging flashlight method and magnifier assisted swinging flashlight method in a patient with a more subtle APD. The patient is placed in a dimly lit examination room for five minutes so that the pupils become larger and easier to detect. The patient is then instructed to look into the distance and slightly upwards. The examiner should not stand in the way of the patient's gaze. A Welch Allen Fine Off Halogen Trans Illuminator is used at its maximum light intensity and is held 15 degrees below the visual axis. We begin by quickly swinging the light from one eye to the other eye several times in order to acquaint ourselves with the patient's pupillary response and pupil size in each eye. The light should be shined in the same part of the visual field in each eye. The examiner then shines the light into each eye for three seconds, beginning with the right eye. The light must be shined for the same duration of time in each eye to avoid unequal retinal bleaching. Again. The cycle is repeated several times. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. So we see here that the APD in the left eye is subtle and not easily detectable by the swinging flashlight method. The sensitivity of the swinging flashlight method can be increased by using a magnifying lens during the examination. Here, the examiner uses a Volk 20 plus diopter lens for the magnifier assisted method. The high plus lens is held in front of the eye without touching the eye. The lens is always held in front of the eye chosen for observation. The exam is then conducted in the same way as previously described. Now with the lens in front of the eye with the APD, Note that the pupil response is more obvious when using the magnifier assisted method. The left eye initially constricts and then dilates. Here in case 3, we will see another APD in the left eye. In this video, only the left eye will be shown and the room lights have been left on only for the purpose of videography. So this is the left eye of the patient. When we shine light into the left eye, the left pupil appears to dilate. And when we shine light into the right eye, the left pupil appears to constrict. So it looks as if though this patient may have an APD in the left eye. With the magnifying lens, this becomes easier to see. So here we see constriction and dilation. Constriction and dilation. To conclude, we will hear some closing comments from Dr. George Spaeth. 